Hey, it's Esco Barca here and today's video I'm going to be going over three crucial things that Barcelona need to get right if they want to be able to beat Bayern Munich at the Allianz Arena. Of course, it won't be easy, but if Barca approach this game the right way, they definitely got a chance of taking home the three points. So let's just get right to it. First of all, the team need to have the right mentality. During the last couple of years, I feel like Barcelona have often crumbled under the pressure in big games especially away from home. This wasn't only because of the quality on the pitch, but also because of a lack of mental strength. In Benfica last year, for example, you would say that Barcelona were the better team on paper, but as you all know, we lost 3-0. The players just got overwhelmed by Benfica's pressure and the atmosphere inside the stadium. They couldn't keep calm or reset their minds. Now, at the moment, I think Xavi's team has already improved a lot when it comes to the psychological aspects. We've won some big games again and there's way more self-confidence amongst the players. So, they probably won't crumble that quickly now once something goes wrong. So, against Bayern, it's important to just start with high intensity and not think too much or hold back too much. Because that's what happened too often previous times as well. And especially if Bayern score first, it will be important to just keep following the game plan and try to get back into the game. And not start to crumble. This won't be easy in a full Allianz Arena, but I think these players are certainly capable of it and it will be the perfect test to see how strong the team has become mentally. Ideally, Barca score first though, and then we will have the momentum. In that case, it's important to not just relax and be happy with the one goal lead, but to keep going and just score more and more. So whatever happens, the right mentality will definitely determine who is going to win. The second crucial thing is all about one player, Marc-André Ter Stegen. In all of the big defeats in Europe the last couple of years, he's been one of the players to be blamed. And in some games it was justified, like at Anfield where he could have done more with both the second and the fourth goal. But sometimes he couldn't really be blamed and it was more on the defense. The thing is just that after all of these defeats his self-confidence has gone down a lot and he went from possibly the best goalkeeper in the world to one of the problems at Barcelona. And with his low level of form and self-confidence it's only normal that he's got it difficult against big teams. But if he's at his best, which he's actually been thus far this season, he's literally one of the best goalkeepers in the world. And he can be Barcelona's savior. It's a guarantee that Bayern will have some chances against Barca, no matter how well we defend. And in that case, he can be the difference. So if he plays well, I won't be surprised to see Barcelona get away with the three points. But if he commits errors, then it will be very difficult to get a good result. It's fair to say that Ter Stegen will be crucial and I hope he will deliver a man of the match performance. Though ideally he won't have to do anything of course. The last thing that will be crucial is our efficiency. Again you're looking at those big defeats in Europe and one of the things that went wrong there too is that we didn't finish our chances. It's a no brainer that if you don't score you can't win. And the last time we played Bayern we weren't even good enough to create opportunities. Like we literally were not dangerous at all. That's not a problem anymore though, it's impossible that you won't be dangerous with players like Pedri, Dembele, Rafinha and Lewandowski. But the ball needs to end up in the back of the net, and that's why it's so good that we've got Lewandowski now. Last year we didn't have a good striker in the Champions League, and before Messi often played in a deeper role and Suarez was past his prime already. So now there's finally someone in that striker position who will finish every, or almost every, chance that he gets. Not all the opportunities will be for him though, Rafinha, Dembélé and maybe Ansu Fati or Ferran Torres too will need to be very sharp in front of goal. They will probably get one or two chances and against a team like Bayern you need to put those in the back of the net. This could be the difference between winning or losing. So I hope they will be clinical enough to finish off Bayern Munich. So those were three crucial things that Barcelona need to get right and I would go as far as saying that if they get these three right there's almost no chance that Barca don't win. But if not, then you can just forget about winning away at Bayern. So I hope they will give it their all and get the important things right and make a big statement at the Allianz Arena. That was it for today's video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and feel free to share your own opinion in the comments down below. Forza Barca and have a good day.